Welcome back, everybody. Some more Everybody's Golf on PlayStation 4. Continuing our series on the downloadable content. Uh, Namrong Bay Country Club. We're going to play the outward nine holes. But we're going to use our custom clubs to see what the course plays like when we've got a bit of power behind us. So, again, if you've seen the earlier video, I've played it with the standard clubs. Now I'm going to play it with something with a little bit more grunt about it. And I suspect course management will be very different on this course. So we're playing, in case you haven't seen, with a level 21 club. Um, you know, that should be should be plenty of, plenty of meat. Um, so the question is, does this make it more or less chump? Okay, so we can't quite drive to the, to the hull. But we can get reasonably close. So let's put a little bit of spin on it. See if we can get ourselves... Up, up and close to the hole. Give ourselves a good approach. Make that birdie easier to get. So we hit it about 380, which is not bad. Leaves ourselves 60 yards. So we're inside the approach range, which makes a bit of a difference. So a little bit of headwind. Going to kick a bit right off the lie. And we'll just give it a bit of top spin, a little bit of run, because it might just come up a bit short. Run at the hole. Go on. Hey! And it's Mega Cups today. And we hit the pin and dropped it in. Get in there, son. Chipping eagle to start. And that's the difference. Being in approach range makes those much more feasible. You know, if you're 90 yards away, it's just that much more difficult. Is a par three. Par three is the place, of course, the extra length doesn't really help you. So again, we're into the wind. Do I need to club up? Debatable, debatable. We might just play with a little bit of top spin again, because again, it will run because of the club it is. This is a six iron. It won't. It's got a bit of roll on it when it does land. So pitched on the fairway, got onto the green. Yeah, we're a bit short, but we're on the green. So, 26 oh, foot, body. mega cups, so I'm a bit less worried about that. This was teeny like cups, up. this would be horrendous. To the right. But it is going to break right, we've got to hit it pretty firm. Let's see how we... Oh, we got go on. Break, 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 here we go. So we've got our birdie. Okay, so it's a par five. Okay, so bit of a bit of a tailwind. So maybe play it about there. Try and get some top spin on it. It's got standard top spin on it. She gives a little bit more rollout. Will it kick right? Kick left, sorry. Oh, it does just avoids the water. A little bit of casual water on the course there. Probably not out of bounds, but it's enough to give you a significant penalty in terms of your your distance. So 145 to go, a little bit of tailwind. Again, let's get it up and stop it. It's an eight iron, so we should be able to stop it. It's going to kick a bit right. <coughs> Only a tiny bit. So let's get it up there. Got a bit of backspin on it, but not really enough. Got to get this close. Got to get this close. Okay, so we're just off. Ten yards, though. Again, a little bit of chip and run, I think. A little bit of chip and run. Same as before. Mega cup, so with a bit of luck. In she goes. Chipping eagle. Again, you don't get the little aggregate mark here because this is an unofficial round because it's mega mega cups. Both mega and tornado don't count for your official stats. But you know, still fun to play. So it falls another long, long not longish par four, but one you can't drive. Well, you say you can't drive it. That, and we're into a headwind, but we could go for the water skip. We're going to give this a crack. We're going to give this a crack. Go! Bravo! Nice That's Suzuki likes it, so it's going to be coming oh. up there. Yeah, it's a water skip. Yeah, we're on. We're on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Just on the fringe, maybe. Yeah, just on the fringe. But again, eight yards. I think we're going to play the same trick. Little bit of it's going to kick a bit left, so maybe pitch it there and just try and roll it in. Chip, roll in the hole. Another chipping eagle. I got 
And the best putt's the one you don't have to take. Those chippings are really good. So there you go. Three chipping eagles. I'm making something of a mockery of this, aren't I? It's a par four. You can see how these people get, you know, 18 under. So, a bit of crosswind this time. Again, 410. So we can... I don't want to hit that bunker. But the heart of the green. Oh, so maybe there. Okay, let's try it with a bit of spin. So we're going to just put a bit of side spin on this. Just to change the angle more than anything. Yeah, Suzuki thinks I've got that in the sand or the water. Oh, or even in that. And we're out of bounds. And let's all keep going. Oh, just in bounds. Just in bounds. So 33 to go. We're on the longer approach. Wind's going to get it. Difficult second shot, this. So a little bit past. Got to get the impact. That's okay. Where's that going to go? It's on. Okay, so 10 foot. 10 foot for the birdie. No chip in eagle this time. With a bit of luck, the Mega Cup should allow us. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Ah, just not enough. Oh, that's a drop shot. That's that's just a miss, isn't it? Just a miss. Ah, oh, par. Par feels like a defeat. That spoils the scorecard, doesn't it? Just a little bit. It's a hole six. Par five. Again. Now, I've got some choices here. Could play up for here. Because all that water just looks risky, doesn't it? I mean, the chances of just getting into that choke point. Nah, we're going to play over here for sure. Okay. So we got the ultra top spin, so we should get a bit of roll out. Is that going to hit the water? No. Oh, pitched. Hopefully come down off the green. We're going to end up in the rough. But we should be... Oh, we're in the water zone. Okay. It's 100 to go. It's going to lose a heck of a lot of power because of where it is. So we need to really... Yeah, maybe that. Maybe that's what we need. Yeah, 7 is the most I can hit. Okay. We've really got to thwack this. Oh... I could go anywhere. Oh, that's all right. It's ish. No, not more water. No. Water again. Oh, I'm just compounding our problems. Let's take the approach off. Okay. Let's play like it's 50%. Oh, I missed it. See what I mean? Once you get into trouble, you just, you just, it's just trouble all the way. Okay, I've got this for a, this for a birdie. Chip and roll, chip and roll. I can't believe well, that's a chipping birdie, but in the water twice. I'm not happy about that. Let's decide to save that. Okay, you do that. Ah, oh, wasn't happy with that. So that's two holes, just not pleased. Is a par three. So par three, a bit of a crosswind. Oh, that's a tough pin as well, because everywhere's downhill. So we need to hit past it for sure and spin back. Okay. So that means we need to go up a club with a loop. Bit of backspin, but not as much as I would like. With a bit of luck, that's high enough up when it lands. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, great play. For the buddy. So. Down, I think. Breaks to the right. Yeah. Okay. That should be all right. Nice birdie. <laughs> you can't see, but I was leaning there, trying to influence the ball. Give it a bit of, give it a bit of side spin. Oh. Okay. Hold it. It's a four. Again, lots of choices here with the water. I see everybody's sort of laid up. No one's, no one's gone for the water skip. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm going for it. You know I'm going for it. You'll never stop it though. That's why they've laid up. See, that's the sensible strategy. The sensible strategy here is to, is the layup to here and play your second approach in. Do you know what? I'm going to be sensible. That's what I'm going to do. 
can get a bit of backspin on it because I don't want it to roll too far. I want it to stop. And that's it. Just get up. Just slow down. Slow down. Slow. There you go. Got the best drive. Pretty much. Pretty much perfection. Okay. So, 37 yards. Again, we could go for the little chip and roll. We could go for the little chip and roll. Okay. We did a smidgen past. A little bit of top spin. Go on. Good, good. Go on. Oh! Off the pin. I didn't. Um, what you need there is if you had super spin on, you'd get the, um, the homing shot. But I didn't. I only had normal spin. So I could have held that. Okay, so it's going to break left. Oh wow, that broke like you wouldn't believe. That was an underread. Wow. Okay. So that's another mistake. So we made three mistakes there. Well done. Only got a par after that excellent first shot. Ah, oh, disappointing. This will be the last. Oh, We're still at nine under. It's a par four. Now, this is going to be interesting. So we've got a bit of a crosswind. That bunker just is inviting me in, isn't it? You see, people have managed to drive it up there. So you could play the water skip. Uh, I think the, the safe shot's to play for about here, isn't it? This is the safe shot. I think we're going to go for that. And with a bit of backspin, just to control the rollout. My real worry is we'll be left and then we'll roll off the edge of the fairway. Oh, which we're in danger of. Oh, uh, stop, stop, stop. That's all right. That's all right. So 107 to go. It's going to kick right, but then the wind will take it back to the left. So maybe we just go straight at it. Approach where you actually know the wind's probably going to going to really grab it. Bit of backspin. See what we can do. Bravo. The wind should blow it to the safe side of the green. Oh, well, I'm not quite in the semi-rough. But again, chip and roll time. Should drop. There we go. Another chip in birdie. So, uh, there's more, more to come there. You could definitely, particularly with the Mega Cups, do much more than I managed to do there. Um, there was a couple of mistakes there, but 10 under, I'm not unhappy. But, you know, after three chipping eagles out of the first four holes, you're kind of thinking you should be getting a bigger score than that. But then the best score was 15. Oh, I don't know. I'm in range of that. I'm in range of that, I think. The 34th out of 122. I'll take it, I suppose. And it won't have hurt my, um, my level, hopefully. Again, I missed a few greens, I think. Yeah, I did miss a few greens. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. A little bit more everybody's golf.